Yo, what's going on boys? Just got done with some cardio, got done with my haircut, as well as shaving, arms, shoulders. It was a good day today. Spent four hours on my personal training, um, studying, so there's that. Sweating, of course. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about self-confidence and how you actually feel better when you actually get your haircut done, you know, you, you got your beard shaved up, you know, you're looking good. You don't have like a double chin neck beard going on that you've, well, I don't grow chest hair, but you know, if you have that, shave that off. Um, you know, just looking your best, feeling your best, being confident, okay? Um, and, and that goes a long way. Today, in particular, people were treating me different. 100%, I'm very socially aware about my environment, social dynamics. When I was in college, I spent a lot of time watching people on like first dates, like, cause I lived on campus for five years. I was an RA, I did all these things, but it was interesting because, you know, I'd go eat on campus and you'd see and watch couples, for instance, first dates and how the girl would interact, how the dude would talk. And it was very interesting, all those social dynamics. And I was very self-aware of how their body language was. And so then I'd, you know, implement that as well during my dates or my interactions, okay? And so, um, I think it's just super interesting and always like was something that was just really interesting to me, you know, and um, I find that a lot of people are kind of self unaware, you know, like for example, I was getting my hair cut and there's like this guy in there who is like always in there and the girl was like, I'm going to go have lunch. And the guy's like, well, you always have lunch when I'm here. It's like, yeah, because she doesn't want to be around you, Mr. Weirdo. Okay. And people just don't get a hint. And so I encourage you to have some self-awareness as well. I'm sure some of you guys do, some of you guys probably don't, but when you're self-aware about how do I look, how am I presenting myself? Am I presenting myself in the best possible way? Am I fat, okay? Am I less than 30? I, I suggest that you guys get between 10 and 15% body fat if you're not already. 13% is about where I'm at right now. Um, but I think 11 to 12 is my nice sweet spot. It's the it's the spot where I feel lean. I don't feel like my stomach's protruding, that kind of thing. And so um, I don't know what it is for you. You know, I don't, I'm not your doctor. I'm, I haven't coached you or anything, so I'm not sure. But to me, that's what looks the best. Leaner, the better. The more aesthetic you are, the better it is. You're gonna feel better and you're gonna look better. And people are gonna say, oh, this guy's egotistical. This guy's all about himself. And it's really not about that because I'm always smiling. I'm always helping people. Um, if you came and talked to me, I'm going to be nice to you. Okay. I literally wear a cross necklace because I'm a Christian. Like if that doesn't tell you that I'm less like nice, I don't know what does. Okay. I don't sit here and like cuss people out in the videos. Like I don't really do that at all. I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke. Okay. I've never done either of those and I don't intend to. Why? So I can bring out the worst in me, so I can have a good time, so I can lose my abs to beer? Like, come on, guys. So, I don't know why people drink. I really don't get it. I guess it's because it it loosens you up or whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I have a great time when I'm tired. <laughs> just get around me when I'm exhausted, and I'm just like laughing all the time. Like, laughing at myself, making jokes, whatever. It doesn't matter. So, you know, people always say, oh, you look like you're 24 or you're in college or whatever. And I say, oh, thanks. That's because I don't smoke or do drugs, right? And so, um, you know, you just keep your skin good, get your teeth cleaned up. I had braces when I was a kid. So, you know, my teeth are straight now. If your teeth aren't straight, I recommend you get them straight. Oh, well, if you don't have the money for it, look, man, everybody has money for what they want. People have money for the new iPhone 16 Pro Max. People that you wouldn't even imagine that have money, have it. So people make time and money for what they want. The, re the reason I recommend that you get your teeth straight is because uh, dental health can lead to heart issues because uh, periodontal disease, okay? So if you can get, if your teeth aren't straight, if you can't get in there and floss right, you're gonna end up having issues with your gums and they can start bleeding more, genovitis, which leads to the periodontal disease and that has like heart problems. And so you don't wanna go down that path of uh, 
of that at all. And so not only is it more aesthetic, but it looks good. You don't have any pain. Um, I have a permanent retainer on the bottom of my teeth and I wear a night guard at night. So I'm not crunching my teeth at night. So if you're one of the people that noticing your gums receding or something, or, um, your teeth, like, um, uh, like like your jaw tight in the morning maybe you're grinding your teeth and you need to grab one of those uh it's like a night guard basically and mine was like fitted to my teeth and so this way it, it keeps the teeth separated at night when you're like grinding on it and they've done 3d scans of my teeth and noticed that um there hasn't been any wear and so i think that's kind of interesting uh that it's been helping and so i really recommend that for you guys because it doesn't get any easier you know, as you get older, things are going to get harder. Like, you need to prioritize your health. The best investment you can possibly make is the one in yourself. Fix yourself first, then you can help others. That's how I've always been. That's how I've always thought of it. Um, trying to think what else. The gym, obviously. Okay, eating good foods. You can have protein shakes. I have like two prote premier protein shakes. I'm not going to tell you a meal plan because I haven't done my nutrition course yet but i drink two protein shakes a day okay get your get your macronutrients in hit the gym at least four times a week for at least an hour get your cardio in at least 20 25 minutes and you're gonna be set man you're gonna feel a lot better each day like i said in one of these last videos it gets the engine rotating in your body with the fluids and the, uh, your whole body is a whole system right and so when your whole system is functioning properly you're gonna feel better you're gonna look better okay um but yeah what's your self-limiting belief do you feel like maybe you aren't worth you know having your teeth straight or you know having your your beard shaved up every week and feeling like good getting a good lineup or you're being lazy like what is it for you you know i've, I've heard a lot of different stories of just laziness and you know, and, um, you know, women are horrible, so there's no point. So why would I even bother? Um, if anything, do it for yourself because you're going to feel better. And then again, once you feel better, you're going to be more confident and you're going to be able to walk out there and people are going to treat you different. And you may not even know what to do with yourself. You're gonna be like, wow, this is amazing. You know, people actually care now to treat me better with more respect. When I was a twig back five years ago, People didn't care. People didn't even see me. And it's not about an ego thing. It's about, again, being the best representation ambassador for yourself, for God, for your friends and family to be an inspiration. Okay, why would you not want to be an inspiration to your mom, to your dad, to your brothers and sisters? I, I wouldn't ever understand that. You want them to take the first place? <laughs> and I never thought of it like that. I've just, I'm the firstborn, so I, I didn't really have a standard, right? So I made my own standard and I said, I'm gonna be the best I can be. You know, if they get mad because they're not as good as me, well, that's not my problem because they aren't me. But the um, concepts of being the best that they can be are still there, right? So, um, going to the gym isn't a choice, boys, okay? Don't think that you were getting a choice in the matter. I wish we could say, hey, yeah, we don't have to. Uh, I don't feel like it. So, I'm going to take, you know, the next three years off and just have pizza. I'm not saying you can't have pizza, but, you know, I, I'm also saying that the macronutrients of that isn't going to be good either. Um, you know. So you tell me, how are you going to feel after that one? But it's starting to get dark now and um, I'm getting tired. So I'm going to go have some dinner at home, take another shower and uh, get ready for this weekend. Hope you guys have a good weekend. I'm not sure what y'all are up to, but um, hope you enjoy it. And tomorrow we'll be hitting legs. Whoa. Once again, once again on the legs. Legs kill me, man. But, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. In a world full of fakeness and deception, keep dominating your realities as always. Talk to you later.